Hey everyone, it's Kimber Schaefer here with Rage in the Cage OKC News. We are hanging out at Rage in the Cage Sponsors, the weight room in Oklahoma City. We couldn't be more excited. They are sponsoring once again, Rage in the Cage 57, and we will be seeing you there on the card. Christian Edwards, you're going to be fighting Jonathan McComb. Um, this is obviously your second debut fight, but this will be um, a tougher fight. Uh, last time you uh, faced a debut fighter, um, Jonathan has like three or four fights now under his belt. So how are you feeling going into this fight this time? I feel good, confident. Um, there's really nothing that's bothering me. I just, you know, I'm going to go in there and do what I do best. Sounds good. Now, your first fight, I just got to rewatch it. Um, you were fighting Dalton Wood, and that ended up being a first-round victory, I believe, in under a minute. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, yeah, it was fast, but um, now it was a good learning experience for me because I know, you know, even though it didn't last very long, I know where I'm strong, and, you know, maybe I could test myself a little bit more in this next upcoming fight. Well, it's obvious from that fight that you have an impeccable stand-up game. We saw that, and we haven't been able to see much past that, but you do train at a great gym that focuses in jiu-jitsu, so I'm assuming that you've got that aspect of the fight game as well. You train at Prodigy, is that correct? Correct, absolutely. Just like I said in my post-fight interview, um, whether it goes to the ground or stays standing, I'll finish the fight, and I truly believe that, and I'm going to make it happen again March 10th. Tell me a little bit about what brought you into the fight industry in the first place. Um, if you're a wrestler or if you have some sort of fight background. And I know we discussed this in your last interview, but we may have some folks out there that are watching you for the first time. Yeah. Well, I've, I've been watching UFC since I was, you know, 13 years old. And, you know, I grew up just, wa you know, doing stuff that I wanted to do, um, like, you know, wrestling. I wrestled in middle school you know, got into some little backyard boxing matches, stuff like that. And then one day I decided to, you know, actually go to an MMA gym in uh, UConn. It was called GPS Mixed Martial Arts. And that's what really got me kick-started in training in MMA and not just doing stuff that I saw on TV. So, yeah. yeah. And here you are. How does your family feel about it? Are they really supportive? Do they love to go see you fight? Oh, yeah, absolutely. My uh, mom, dad, and two of my brothers came to watch me fight last time, so... Hopefully it'll be, you know, more, more people, you know, I didn't, I took that fight on three days notice, so I didn't have enough time to, you know, inform everybody, but hopefully this time I'll be able to bring in a bigger crowd. I can see it. You've got such a great personality. I can't imagine anybody wanting, not wanting to see um, you fight. I mean, I, I'm, I imagine you have a lot of friends and followers and the longer you go on the sport, the more um, that's going to happen for you. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'll be inviting, you know, my my jiu-jitsu family, my, you know, blood family, my church family, everybody. So I'm going to just go in there, you know, have a good time, but, you know, make sure I get that W. Well, that sounds good. Let's talk long term. What are your ambitions in the sport? Obviously, we know you're a UFC fan, so um, most people that walk in the door, um, unless it's just one of those things they want to mark off their, their bucket list, um, they're, they've got their eyes on the UFC. Is that the same for you? Honestly, as far as UFC, I don't know. I mean, I hope I can get there one day, but right now my focus is just having fun and going in there and doing what I do best. And hopefully uh, one day I will be a world champion for sure. But let's see, you know, we'll see. Yep. Well, I honestly, I love that because you've got your eyes on the now. You've got your eyes on um, your goals for today. And you know that if it's meant to be, then your eyes can focus on the future at some point. That's what it seems like to me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how the future is going to play out, but I, I do believe that I do have a long future in this sport and I will do my best at every fight and every stage. Sounds great. Well, thank you so much, Christian Edwards, for being here for your interview. You guys, come out and support this guy. It's his second fight. He debuted for Rage in the Cage just a couple of months ago at our Rage in the Cage 55 event, also at the Oklahoma City Farmers Market. He's back. So you guys come on back and support him. He's got tickets in hand. Uh, you can get tickets from any other fighter on the card if you happen to know another fighter. Or you can get tickets, of course, from StubWire.com. And we hope to see you there March 10th at the Oklahoma City Farmers Public Market.